So what are your thoughts? All right, so here's the deal. Um, there is a, a, a secret hidden hallway. Okay. At the mouth of the hidden hallway, there's this little voice device. You speak into it, it changes your voice. She shows you the device. It could be anybody, including a woman. Okay, now, if you'll notice... Do have any reason to believe that the person's not actually a non-Aryan? We just can't tell if it's male or female. Yeah, it's a nightmare, you just can't tell male or female. Okay. Yes. Okay, so then you follow this hallway and it leads you to a back entrance to the restrooms. Now, what, what's your character's name, Josh? Lodo. 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 Do I know your name? I don't not, know. not in game. I don't think in game. I, you, over there, sir. Um, you were in the restroom at the time of the thing. Did anyone come in or out of there? We need a knowledge check or are you just going to remind me? Nobody came in or out of the men's restroom. Like he said. Alright, so. I'm that... just going to point to a random non person. What is it? Okay, well, outside of the female restroom was the mask used by the. The master thief. That one, yes. The gold mask? No, the black mask that the Master Thief wore that popped up and said, get, get me the gold mask. Oh, okay. Yeah, him. He, uh, so that mask was ditched right outside of the back So the voice changer and then the mask was found by the female's room. So and conveniently the, the wife said she was in the restroom at the time of that. Mm -hmm. So she's looking kind of guilty. Well, you did pretty decent on a motive check, which means... She'd have to have like a really fucking high charm. Or possibly she heard whoever went through there. Hmm. However, it would be kind of suspicious if a male walked out the front entrance of the female's restroom. Just throwing that up. Anyhow. Well, I'm like 99% sure I know who it is, but I'm not going to say. This is y'all's paper. All right. I'm so, going to write down who I think it is on a piece of paper and fold it up and put it in my jacket pocket. I think I already know who you think it is, considering you've been pushing for that person the entire night. Okay, so who do you, do you guys wish to declare, I guess, at this point? Or do you want to... Do you wish to declare? Do you feel confident with any Do we need to go back and talk to the wife? What does declaring look like? We go up on the dais and an hour yeah. and say, we think it's so and so. Can we go back and... Can I well, go back it's more and talk like, to the wife? I guess it's more of you would just come up to the person you think it is and start accusing them. Oh, the challenge them. Mm. Can I go talk to the wife? Do yeah. it. You absolutely, like, not accuse her? You absolutely can, yeah. Because okay. you, you haven't entered, you haven't said that you're going to declare yet, so you, you, you absolutely can. You understand girlfriend talk, I don't do yeah, no, I feel talk. like I should try to finish this here because I have the highest charm stat. You should. I just want to get any information from her. Yeah, I'm fairly confident. I know who it is with the evidence presented. You guys have been my beautiful little spies collecting all the information. So I think I'll go seal the deal on this. Okay. Let's yeah. approach the female. Hmm. All right. So go ahead. Um, I'm going to use charm. I'm gonna kind of like just move that up, you know, like what are they dancing, what's she dancing to the music or? Uh, at the party's kind of. Having a drink at the table. Yeah, it's all kind of died down, so it's everybody kind of just eating and drinking at this point. Okay. The fun, The fun kind of died when everybody's stuff got stolen. She like the bar? Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna Slide like, I'm just gonna like slide on in with a couple drinks and hand her one. You Go realize, ahead. you realize I'm married. I didn't even tell you what I was going to do. Just <laughs> Look, girls know when they're getting hit on. <laughs> that's fine. I'll let right before I tell Well, that's all she says so far. Oh, uh, yeah, I understand. Um, uh, uh, when's the anniversary? Within uh, a month. If you don't mind me asking, uh, what are we congratulating? 20, 30? Five. Five years. Congratulations. Well, hey, you know, 
I've been paying attention to the little shit that we got going on tonight. And I gotta say, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Really interesting story. Good twist. And what I'm more or less trying to do is just like kind of charm her and think like, oh, this is a fantastic like little skit you put on. And just kind of like charm her into just saying like, yeah. So, what do you want me to roll charm? Yeah, go ahead and uh, yeah, roll for the charm. Uh, uh, I'm having a hard time saying exactly charisma. how I want to talk to this yeah. person because I wasn't there for that. I don't no. know who they're talking Yeah, about. roll for the charisma. I'm using that. You can't use advantage. Uh, I have hair point, right? You have to call that before you roll. Oh, shit, do I? Yeah. Wait, will you give me the benefit of the doubt? Uh, I don't care. Yeah, okay. We'll do it this once. I got a nat 20 and a 14. Okay. So you um, got a nat 20. I don't know. Let's see. Hold on. Hello. Okay, it's just an extremely difficult DC. No, the nat 20. It, you're, you're covered. Four charm. And a charisma, so that's 25 total. Yeah, you're covered. So, um, she says, well, I, you know, it was mostly. It's it fun, right? Eh, you know, until things got, you know, wary, but my, uh, partner seems to have had more fun than me. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't follow what you said. Her partner had more fun. Uh, what is she implying? The the married person? Uh, Her husband? It's up to you. She just says partner. Oh Motor my check. god. It's, it's the first time she has not said husband when referring to her husband. Okay. So... If when that I, if the vibe I'm getting is she orchestrated it, but she was not the perpetrator. So who who are we trying like to name to here? The, the organizer or the perpetrator? <laughs> no, no, seriously, what is the goal of this? Are we trying to figure out like who done it or like well if it's done to do it? Okay, so here's the thing. If it's one person that you think it is then go for the one person. If you think multiple people, then you'd have to go after every single one and know what role they played slightly. You would have to know who was the master thief themselves. Essentially, essentially. we're trying to find the master thief. And if you find the master thief, and if you think there were anybody working with them, you would say that they, X and Y were working with the master okay. thief. Okay, well, it's definitely a collaborative effort between her, uh, the organizer. This is probably her show. I'm, I'm just going to assume maybe like she even owns this place or organized this thing. Uh, and the person whose name I collected before, the donor slash owner of the golden mask, is the perpetrator. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. I'm trying to get more information. I, I really didn't get a solid answer with a 25 charm. <laughs> I mean, I gave you... A big hint that actually I need to put into the book about, because there is a twist I need the to put The partner in. word thingy? Yeah, the partner is a big hint. Well, I was always open to the, the idea that it was multiple people. Right. Um, so well, this is just, I guess, a suggestion that that is true. Yes. Alright, well, I guess I'll continue the conversation with her. Mm -hmm. With this uh, suspicion of mine. Mm -hmm. So I approached her. I was like, "Hey, this has been a lot of fun." Uh, Actually, give me to kind of help smooth things a little. I bit. charmed her into more or less saying, "Yeah, it was fun, but what? My partner? My history? My partner had more fun. My partner had more fun. Mm -hmm. But she, but I did clearly and effectively intimate that I was speaking about this whole golden mask <laughs> game, right? Well." That was a lot of fun, and it was a good idea, and I was giving her the credit for uh, this idea. Well, she says, in that regard, that it, it's not a game. <laughs> okay, it's like, ah, oh, I see, I see, I get it. No, it's really not. Oh, okay. Um, what's the point? Then you hear him? He wants the mask. Dirty 20. Uh, dirty 20? 
Um, so you remember, I'm actually going to write that down because you might not want to share it. really wants the mask. It can't be somebody who owns it. <clears throat> because if they own it, they have it. That was my point. Well, that was just illustrating. Somebody that wants the mask. But so doesn't have the it. donor is that the lets one that the donor owns it, right? The hook. Yeah. So we know who has the mask. We just don't know who wants the mask. But we know that person who wants the mask mm -hmm. is associated to the uh -huh. we're talking to. <laughs> well, I seem to recall. You just got a big chunk. What did he roll? Uh, a dirty 20. On what? History. On a history thing to remember something from the night. Yeah. Okay, well, I wasn't meta listening to it. No, you're good. So. That's why I wrote it down. So, so this is just our chance to come together with information. Yeah, yeah you can come together with information right. again. Well, I thank you for your time. I once again intimate that this was a lot now, of fun. Thanks for yeah. putting on a good show. And what um, you got from her is that it's real. It's not a show. I'm just going to continue to pretend like it's a show. All right. Well, I seem to recall that the guard danced with her all night, so maybe he is, in fact, the the, the guy that we're looking Didn't for. Didn't you fucking nail him with a nat 20 on intimidation? Uh-huh. Yeah. He said he tried to capture the thief, but missed. Right. And then I'm he tried pissed. to double down about him doing that, and he said he did try to do that. Did try to grab the thief? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, where's the, where's the white lie in there? What, he tried, he didn't... No, he did try to grab the thief. He did, but he purposefully missed is what the uh, yeah. thing that I got. Yeah, it's, yeah, and you did realize that. Yeah, I realized that he was... Okay, I guess there just wasn't a lot of emphasis on that at the time. So, mm -mm. Yeah. so here's what I'm thinking. Are you going to share the part about partner? Yeah, yeah, it's all okay. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking is um, the wife and the guard are in it together. Probably to get Do you want to go... The with... husband, probably get back with the husband, who is the fucking donor. Do you want to go into a full, like, inspector, like, like... I declare I know who done it. <laughs> and I pull out my fucking fake mustache. Like Perot, like, like a twirling. full on Perot thing. Do you want to? <laughs> you don't want to declare everything you think happened and why. So do you want to wear that plaid petticoat and snazzy hat, snazzy and Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And... I'm gonna do it. I guess I'm gonna get on the Diaz. Okay. Um, on an hour and the clock chime, I'm gonna be like, attention, attention, all. I believe I have solved the mystery. And obviously you guys have eyes on and are prepared to like snag the people. Yeah. You get the card, I and get I, the wife. Sure, yeah. And I'm gonna present I really want to kill him. what I think <laughs> happened. The guard and the wife are both. So Marians. I'm gonna start Damn it. I'm gonna start I'm gonna slap the shit out of the wife. <laughs> I'm gonna start by going over the facts as I learned them, and then I'm gonna more or less kinda come to the conclusion that like I believe that this whole event was organized by and indicate the woman, and everybody can like look at her and she'll be like, uh, organized by the woman in order to steal the mask owned by her husband, such and such, the illustrious secret donor to the senator, which this might be airing dirty laundry at this point. Uh, and then I'm gonna, uh, met, uh, but the, the husband owned the mask. You do realize that the She's the senator's wife, not the donor's. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. No, you said the donor's wife. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I mean then. And the so, roles, more importantly. Yeah, you manage to Let them some. plug in the right names. All right, so... Hold on. I don't actually know Do what you Do you want to hear the full story before you try to catch them? Sure. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be like, you rabble-rousing kids, and I got to wait oh. for the two of you. So, all right. Kale, the senator, had owed money for his re-election, mm -hmm. which you had learned, 
and asked Ajokia for some money to the to win the re-election. Yep, Ajokia is the criminal. In return, Ajokia asked for a seat among his staff, as well as a small loan payment. However, after the election, Kale never paid off the debt. While this was occurring, Scale and Mikia, the guard and the wife of the senator, having an affair. had begun to have an affair uh-huh. where they grew closer. Right. Eventually, Ajokia... So I got that part right, for yeah. sure. Eventually, Ajokia announced that he planned to reveal that Kale had used dirty money to win the election unless paid immediately in full. So I was the tool of revealing that dirty laundry. Uh, Kale offered up the golden mask, a family heirloom from Mikia's side. Uh, this frustrated Mikia, and she and Scale began to make plans to have it returned to them. Mm-hmm. Scale had some of the other senatorial guards that were loyal to Mikia dress up as the other thieves, and Scale used a voice changer and a black mask to set himself up as the master thief. Mikia would be in the restroom as an alibi and to help him quickly change out of the costume so he could jump onto the balcony and pretend to attempt to capture the master thief. Yeah. So basically, he was on stage, quickly ran off, did a quick change with the help of her, and then, and then went, back on. went back on to pretend to try to catch himself. Right. And they would then eventually, uh, the plan was to then eventually scare Ajokia into giving them the golden mask, which the two were going to use to finance a divorce from Kale and the and their own marriage. Okay. Uh, well, we just made enemies of very powerful people. Uh, since you got both That's Wilfred's right. correct, just air that shit out in public. Uh, you will now get to apprehend Kale and Mikia. Uh, blue coats are coming in to help you arrest them. Fuck yeah, cause we the fucking blue coats. What what in the butt? So I know why I got the names wrong. I was under the impression that the guard guy, Scully, could not have been the thief, because I was given the impression that they were literally on the same stage at the same time. No, like almost physically interacting. No, he said you're that, implying now that that person. Was I up said there, that from the beginning. Disappeared. Minutes passed, then the guard. I said up. from the beginning he was the last guard to try to catch. Did you. Are you getting me or did you get that? I got both. <laughs> I got both at different points, so. Okay. Alright. Okay. Like when, when she intimidated the shit out of the guard, that's when I realized that it wasn't exactly the same time. The initial explanation was the exact same time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because he tried to lie at first and then. So you feel me? Yeah, but then after the intimidation, he was like, uh, I might have been a little late. Is that your water? <laughs> it's your water. Is it? Probably. Let's see, so <laughs> because you caught them both, you don't have to do a chase sequence. Man, we just made your job. Feel and we win the golden mask. Well, I wrote, I wrote the idea that that would happen. No, Jokia keeps it because it's his property. <laughs> but he gives it to us as a thank you. Please. Women brag rights. I'll shake my boobies in his face. You still want to try to kill Scully as he's being arrested by blue coats? Can I punch him in the face? I guess. The The real bad guy here is the dude that won't let her get divorced. Oh, the senator? Yeah, the guy that has the mask, right? That's, no, the Crime Lord the has the mask. The Crime Lord has the mask, right. Josh. You keep, mis- you keep mixing in. them up. Well, I wasn't here for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, right, you were in the bathroom. <laughs> Should never take a shit on the job. <laughs> we're at parties. That's very true. You never know what you're going to catch. All right. So let me see if there's any other wrapping up stuff. Do we get our shit back? Yes. Yeah, everybody gets their stuff back. Because what's his name got like everything yeah. sold. Yeah, it also means good. all those guards are arrested too because they were part of this conspiracy. I took a level in the super, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Master Thief dealt with. Do you have uh, a list of thingies? Hmm? Do you have a list of the Powers. thingies? Or whatever. Uh, let's see. After the encounter, the PCs will capture the Master Thief and get to reveal who it is. Da, 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 da. Dun, dun, dun. They will then get arrested along with the other person by the blue coats. Mm-hmm. A Jokio will then reward you guys for your hard work uh, with 80 notes. So 16 each. That's to include Tassab and Sylvester. 
and the money. So at some point I'll level up. That's just money, Josh. I, You've already leveled up. I oh, pay all money, which was six, because to sub. Yeah. He gave us sixteen monies. A little 16 more, notes. more uh, yeah. financial change. What's that? I pay. I pay Wessex back. Lunch. Oh, you pay Wessex back? Yeah, and I and I tell the sub I'll give him. Wow, that, that was a lot for lunch money. Let's see, fifty five for six. Uh, and how much did did you pay him back? I paid him fifteen. Fifteen. So the fifteen I owed him. Uh, so you have one note left from that. <laughs> you can have mine. Oh, I'll take that. Could just solve the criminal conspiracy for lunch money. <laughs> So you have seventeen now. Have I give lunch. fifteen back to, to somebody. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't owe nobody shit. <laughs> right. There you go. Hold on, I'm doing math. See, I told you I'd pay you guys back. <laughs> you know, it just took you till the end of the day, yeah. which is actually really fast for paying somebody back. Mm-hmm. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I go lean over to Frog Boy and I give him a kiss, a big juicy kiss on his cheek and say I couldn't have done it without you, stud. <laughs> All right. Now you're just teasing him. In case you want to actually invest in us, uh, you can go to the Patreon page that we talk about in every video. And you can become a Patreon and at the lowest level you will automatically gain access to the uh, playtests.